Quick post-fight thoughts to Lawrence Akali versus Wadi Camacho. Akali stops Camacho in the fourth round. Lawrence Akali, he is the dictionary definition of winning ugly. Because I've seen Lawrence Akali since he's turned pro. I think I've seen pretty much every fight he's had as a pro. And some of his fights, they really do look sloppy. And they really are very tough to watch. But he gets the job done. I will remember his fight with Matty Askin for all the wrong reasons. Because I watched that fight with my jaw on the floor that he didn't get disqualified. Because all Lawrence Akali done in that fight was hold, 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 hold. And it was an absolute stinker for 12 rounds. This fight wasn't as bad. There was some holding. Every single time that Wadi Camacho tried to get in close, I think Akali was, you know, they would fall into each other. They were clinching. They were an orthodox versus cell posse. You would get that. But they were falling into clinches. Akali was using his size. He is very big. He's very physically strong, Akali. And he hits hard. And there was some moments in the fight where it did look a bit rough. It did look a bit, you know, all over the shop. Because, you know, they were falling onto the ropes. They were kind of all over the shop. And the referee was getting involved a bit. It really was in the third round where Wadi Camacho landed a good left hand on Lawrence Akali. And looking back in the replay, you could see his legs kind of done a little dance, Akali's legs, after he was hit with the left hand. And, you know, they kind of made some questions, you know, is Camacho going to make a fight of this now? But in the fourth round, Akali opened up, landed a combination on Wadi Camacho. Wadi Camacho took a knee. Uh, he got back up and then was knocked back into the ropes by a right hand. He didn't go down, but the referee jumped in, stepped in and stopped it. There was no complaints from the Camacho corner at all. Um, I think it was a fairly decent stoppage. I think we, we kind of, the right was on the wall from that moment on what was going to happen. So, you know, those are my thoughts on this. Um, you know, uh, Lawrence Akali was always going to win the fight. Eddie Hearn has said that he wants the Dennis Lebedev fight next, ideally. Um, you know, I, I'd say Akali probably beat Lebedev now at this stage, purely because Lebedev, I think, is completely finished I think that the Casilla fight took a lot out of him he's had a lot of fights in his career he's had a lot of tough fights like the Guillermo Jones fight um, and I think Lebedev he's, he's got to be pushing 40 now I think Lebedev is pretty much finished and I think like at this stage in his career Akali probably would win that fight in terms of the, the champions the other champions of cruiserweight providing Usyk vacates let's just assume Usyk vacates um, other guys like Asiev, Dortikos, Glowacki, I don't think I would give Akali much of a shot beating them guys, but he definitely has the punch and power to trouble them, so you never know. So those are my thoughts on this, as always, leave your thoughts down below, thanks again for dropping by the channel, if you like it please hit the like button, and of course, as always, please hit subscribe, and I will talk to you after.